Yeah, don't click back. Don't check out of this message. It's a powerful message that will transform your life. The word of the Lord is coming from the mouth of a servant. Sit back as you listen to the word of the Lord and also subscribe to this. Everybody, please listen. Please let me have your attention. There is a side effect to becoming prayerful that you may not know. Now that you have prayed, I want you to listen. The moment you submit yourself to prayer, you are in a position of a dangerous risk that I must tell you. Listen, listen, listen. Do you know why? Because the law of the altar is that the moment you submit yourself to prayer, watch this, your organs of interaction with the realm of the spirit become alive and become heightened. And these, if Satan cannot stop you from prayer, the next thing that he does is to appear as an angel of light. That's why I said, listen to what I'm about to teach you. Many people's deception started because of the health of their prayer life. Many, especially those called into the apostolic and the prophetic ministry. I will tell you most of the error. The Bible says the spirit speaketh expressly that some in the latter time shall depart from the faith and they shall give heed to seducing spirits and the doctrine of God demons it is a risk to suddenly be open to the realm of visions it is a risk to suddenly be open to the realm of encounters because as a naive believer exploring the realm of the spirit anything you see in your vision can be told you that it is God listen carefully there are people who went up the mountain sincerely and came back with ordinances that were not from God there are people who sincerely submitted themselves to days and weeks of prayer and fasting and came back with spiritual templates from the realm of the spirit but not by the Holy Ghost. There are people who came back with their organs activated along the lines of the prophetic. Sincerely, they were not wrong people. When Jesus went to pray, who did he meet in the wilderness? Please talk to me. <laughs> when your Jesus went to pray I thought prayer should drive the devil but guess who was waiting for Jesus in the place of prayer after praying for 40 days with fasting I thought you would see Satan shaking and running away Satan was patiently waiting that means when you give yourself to prayer it's not only angels who are attracting the realm of the spirit because it's the prayers of the saints are like an incense that rise and there is a signal in the realm of the spirit there is somebody who is assuming that formation of the glory and satan will take advantage of your sincerity that's why i said promise that you will listen to this teaching again that is the reason why those who submit to the ministry of prayer alone are in danger. Did you hear what I said? I've told you prayer is not everything. Prayer does act. Prayer has its ministry. But many people have shut down on every other provision that makes for the growth of the saints. And they have immersed themselves in a bid to access power. The only thing they know and the only thing they may have done, sincerely so, is prayer and most of them have come with all kinds of erroneous things doctrines so someone will tell you in the place of prayer I went somewhere in the spirit I don't know where and I came back with a message I came back with certain things and you will see a semblance of power and it begins to graduate until it becomes like the doctrine of Balaam. There are many things today, respectfully speaking, that have polluted the sanctity of the altar in the body of Christ today. It did not come by the ministry of wicked men. They were not wicked. They were sincere people who did not understand the full scope of the training. And they chose one aspect of the training and left the rest. And the devil cast in on their sincerity and revealed things to them that have become a destruction to themselves. I know people who prayed and prayed until they had mental problems. Have you seen people like that? And even while they are mad, they are praying in tongues. It looks like a mockery to God. 
eventually they will take them to the hospital and sedate them no genuine prayer does not lead to that but i told you there is a risk because it exposes you and you encounter all kinds of spirits and every spirit is speaking so you will hear a spirit from the realm of the spirit loud and clear and you say go and stand by the road and because your heart is already inclined to obey you will say yes lord and go and stand but you find out that the more you obey that spirit that formation of christ has stopped you are becoming like something else that is not christ this is where the next training comes right please the ministry of the word the second key that helps the believer to become a person of stature is the ministry of the word is God helping us I know the lion I know the lamb I know the lion I know the lamb I believe in the lion I believe in the lamb I believe in the lion I believe in the lamb I follow the lion I follow the lamb hallelujah listen the ministry of the word and the ministry of prayer has become an age-long conflict which is more superior to which especially in the Pentecostal and the charismatic circles now I'm saying this respectfully this is a believers meeting am I right on that so we have a group that may perceive themselves to be people of prayer especially the prophetic and the apostolic ministry then we have those who perceive themselves to be people of the word and sometimes the dichotomy is so wide that it almost looks as if there is enmity but the bible never created that dichotomy are we together jesus called himself the word but he said my house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations am i right on that now I want to show you the roles that they play. Please look up. Jesus went as the word of God. Went in Matthew chapter 4. Jesus went to go and pray and fast. Everybody please look up. Please look up. Please look up. Please look up. Jesus is done praying. Everybody say prayer. prayer. One more time. Say prayer. prayer. Jesus is done praying. And the next thing he sees is that Satan appears to him. Am I right on that? whether it's from the realm of his thoughts or it was a physical manifestation the most important thing is that there was an interaction with this spirit entity satan are we together and watch this the first thing satan told him is don't forget that prayer produces power now in the place of prayer you have power turn this stone to bread in other words convert that power to be an instrument for meeting your personal need forget about the bigger cause that is the first there are three temptations every man must survive to rise i'm not teaching on that but those temptations of jesus number one is a temptation on your stomach manipulating the word of god and ministry to be used as an instrument of your stomach number two is spiritual laxity he took him up a holy mountain and said fall down spiritual carelessness for he shall put his angels charge over you the third temptation is a temptation of influence he took him into an exceeding great mountain and showed him the kingdoms of this world and their glories therefore and he said bow to me and i will give this to you but this is not what we're discussing now watch this satan comes to jesus and said turn this stone to bread look at jesus's reply it is he never said i have prayed it is help me it is why didn't he say satan are you not respecting my prayer and fasting do you not know the energy that has been generated there he said it is written do you know if jesus said okay satan that's a nice suggestion and turn that stone to bread his entire prayer life 
the spiritual investment he has made will be nothing simply because he did not know what was written then let me show you now the value of prayer added to the word satan said oh i see that you respect the word too so let's speak scripture now next temptation satan also said it is written he shall put his angels to uh, his angels charge over you they shall bear thee up on their wings satan is quoting scripture now lest you dash your feet against a stone now satan is saying it is written you are saying it is written that is where the power of prayer comes in that gives you the discernment because if you do if you have scripture alone and no discernment that has been generated satan will come like the damn cell in acts chapter 16 and also join you in prophesying and you say they are saying scripture is someone learning now satan said it is written i know it too and jesus said no by discernment i know that even though what is coming out of your mouth is scripture but you are not of god hmm. there are many many people today who have the word but they just have history and literature in their minds because the power that that backs up the word that should be generated in the place of prayer is not there and so most people just become respectfully speaking historians and they just make the bible says ye search the scripture for in them you think you will find life and you will not come to me that the scriptures themselves testify of me but ladies and gentlemen do you know why the word of god is powerful because the word of god creates boundaries to your spiritual experiences the bible has a lot to say about the word of god for instance in colossians chapter 1 and verse 16 the bible talks about the supremacy of the word the supremacy of the word please give it to us i hope someone is learning something this morning colossians 1 16. let's read it if you can see it ready one to read please for by him the word now where all things created that are in heaven and that are in the earth visible and invisible whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers all things were created by him and for him do you know what that means that means even if you have an encounter outside this realm the word of god still has supremacy and you can use the word of god to vet every experience so an angel can appear to you and you can judge by the speakings of that angel if it does not reveal jesus and it does not lead you through the pathway you have a right to judge that angel by the word to say no this is inconsistent with the character of god most people do not have the word of god and it has destroyed them in ministry look at this for instance let's assume that this gentleman seated and this lady say they are husband and wife do you know as a man of god by prayer and through the prophetic i can see for instance that there's something wrong with that lady but how i will handle it now would depend on my understanding of scripture not my understanding of prayer if this is a man of god and this is your church and this is your wife and there is something wrong number one the bible says do not rebuke an elder in public so i'm not about to go and embarrass him and the wife because it will have an effect on the fold are you seeing how the word of god guides you now to administer power with wisdom many people through the prophetic have had, have access graces but the word of god does not define the coordinates of their administering power and they keep they keep you know mismanaging power imagine an electric a high voltage naked wire on the ground will it do you any profit no you hold it and it will kill you but that same power can be channeled through a socket and you can charge something with it are you seeing now the word of god that's why the power of god resides within the word of god habakkuk chapter 3 and verse 4 the bible says in that sun-like splendor is the hiding place of his power 